Hi everyone, Rodel here. In this uh, quick video, I would like to show you how to use Unicode from your Azure DevOps uh, YAML pipelines. So this is part of the series where I try to demonstrate how, how you can use Unicode in various forms, either a CLI or a Nougat package, this time using your, uh, your Azure DevOps. So you could automate your database change deployment uh, using using GitOps or using uh, uh, using Azure pipelines, yeah. um, but first to get started is actually to acquire Unical uh, Azure DevOps extension, and you get that by going to to the marketplace or maybe if you are on on Azure DevOps you go to here and then you get browse marketplace extensions, and then from there you start looking for for Unical. And then you'll find Unical among the list here. And then after that, you could just click get it. Um, so for organizations that has a, that has a central control authority for installing this, then you just need to request it uh, to the people to have it uh, installed on your on your um, on your organization. When that is installed, it will be available this way. So it will be installed this way, and then you can control uh, specific versions that is actually running. When that is made available, the next time you make a new pipeline, for instance, so let's let's try to make a new I mean new uh, deployment pipeline. So in this case, I'm on Azure DevOps, I'm on pipelines, and let's try to create a new pipeline, and we're going to use a an existing Azure uh, no not let's let's try to use GitHub uh, in this case. All right. And then let's say I'm going to use a Unical repository because we have the, the samples there. And we're saying I would like to start with an empty uh, pipeline. Start with a minimal pipeline you can customize. Or yeah, do you have something like completely empty here? No. OK, so let's try and start a pipeline. OK, so here it's triggering from the master. Um, and then, uh, by the way, this task only works for Windows um, VM image. So this time you have to use the Windows latest as your um, agent pool. And um, so these are the bar stuff. Let's let's remove that. So we're gonna start empty. So we're our first step is actually to um, uh, so this time let's try to show. So there's an assistant here. Let's try to. Uh, set a command line so and in this command line basically we're going to clone our repository so we say git clone our repository All right so let's uh, okay how do you add that or okay so it was hidden by so let's click that <clears throat> so now we are cloning the repository this is similar to how we do it manually our next step is now <clears throat> because we have installed Unical as an extension, it will now become available uh, in your in your in your uh, as task assistance. So the first, of course, is to install Unical. So this time, let's say I would like to install uh, uh, Unical. So that's the next step. Use Unical. I would say I would like to use uh, the latest version, uh, or maybe it would be better if you say. I think it should be v1.1.55. And so let's try to add that. So use Unical v1.1.55. Um, what would happen there is it's going to download the, the, the version 1.1.55 uh, release and, and install it on the agent. And then the next step is let's try to actually run it. Um, so, so here it's a bit tricky. So the version that we would like to run is, is the latest. So this is the, the version says run my migration up to the latest available version of that database repo repository. Then we have the connection string. So this time, let's say we're going to use the same database as we've been using in other video. So this is a PostgreSQL database hosted on, on Elephant SQL. Our target, uh, our target uh, workspace repository would be um, uh, the PostgreSQL sample. So I'm just copy pasting here. So this is basically what we have checked out. 
uh, here in the first task and say this is a PostgreSQL sample. The target platform would be PostgreSQL. We will not auto create the database because it's already there. And the target version is the latest version. Sorry, I actually, actually this one should be V1.1.55. Uh, That's the version of Unico. And then we don't intend to do any token replacements. Um, and CSV is default by comma. And uh, what else? Maybe let's say I would like to print all the debug information as well, just like the way we do in, um, in other things. So now let's arrange it a little bit. I know that the YAML could be a bit tricky. So, but I think we've got the right picture now. So we're saying clone the repository here. Um, and install Unicode CLI version 1.1.55, run our migration, target this database here hosted on Elephant SQL, uh, use the sample project, the sample database project for PostgreSQL. This is targeting PostgreSQL data uh, platform and print some debug information. I'm a bit unsure if I should use V here, but let's maybe let's just try it out. So let's save it. And name it as uh, I don't know, install uh, or use Unicode in YAML. Then, okay. Um, so, no, I don't intend to commit this. Now we have to save it. And let's create a new branch just for the sake of it. So, okay, let's save that. All right, and let's, let's run that pipeline. Okay, so now we say, okay, I would like to run this pipeline here um, and let's run it. Let's observe what's going on. I hope we, uh, that we get an agent soon enough for this uh, demo. Otherwise, I will just cut it off in the in the <laughs> in the post uh, post production. Sounds professional. Okay. Looks like we've got an agent. So now we're checking out the repository. Then we're checking it out again. I hope that doesn't collide with the existing repository. So now we've got the repository cloned. And now we're installing Unical here. So, so we're printing some debug information here. And now we are running the migrations. So if you have seen some of my other videos, it's, it's pretty much the same. It just happens on the pipeline instead of running on CLI. So again, it's, it's a beautiful thing. So, so let's check it out. So again, here we try to clone our samples. So this is a PostgreSQL sample. Then we say, I would like to install Unical into that agent because I intend to use it later for my database uh, migration uh, or my database deployment. So it's downloading actually version 1.1.55 because we specified to be that version. Because if you're running, if you're running an older version, then you could explicitly say, say, my database is not yet compatible with this one. I would like to use the old version. And then now you could assume at this point that the Unical CLI has been installed and available. Then we could very well issue a Unical run a task. And, and these are the, the printout of the debug. Uh, or diagnostics logs. So you could very well inspect what has happened uh, during the migration run. And of course, in if, yeah, yeah. So let's verify that. So let's try to again, go to my favorite uh, host, that's Elephant SQL. And uh, let's log in. Um, yep. And I've got here a very, very small PostgreSQL instance is sufficient enough for this demonstration. So let's go and browse it. 
And now we've got the Unicode tables here and schema history uh, table. We've got the information needed there. We've got the uh, countries here. And we expect this to be seeded by, um, uh, by, by data, uh, either using SQL script or CSV file. Of course, you can use Unicode CLI as well uh, to query uh, uh, the status of the database, especially the migration status of the database and the versions that has been applied. Uh, you just have to use a similar connection string. So in this case, I have demonstrated to you how to actually use Unicode from Azure DevOps pipeline. And there are, there are many other samples that I have made available for you to, to use. So, and it's, 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 it's available here in, in GitHub as, uh, I think not, not this one. It's, it's called Unicode samples, I think. Um, Unicode tutorials. Yes, it's under Unicode tutorials repository. And here you can see Unicode Azure pipelines. And it's pretty interesting because you could, because this is a very basic demo, but uh, later on you might want to explore how do I do multi-stage pipeline, right? Because you could very well make a pipeline where you have some approval process along the way. Uh, and, and that is available in that repository. You could very well clone that and use that as a reference. Or, or and, and here you could also visualize some of the, uh, so how it's going on. So imagine you have a version that has been applied to dev and you would like to set some approvals to have it available in test uh, or staging or production. So it, it, it's really beautiful how, how this can be done using, using YAML pipelines and Azure DevOps. Or if you want, maybe I should make another video where you could also use uh, environments. I remember where, where yeah wherein and actually I did. So, so here I'm demonstrating that you could create logical environments that is dev test staging and production. And then from there you could set approvals. Um, and I think I think that that sample actually uses this. So if if I may go back again to these pipelines here, maybe just here, so because it's the same pipeline that was running there. So here actually I'm using AWS dev. Yeah, so you, so you have a YAML pipelines, a multi-stage pipeline, and then we use logical environments and set approvals on how this, this deployment will proceed or, or, yeah, or get transported to one, from one environment to the other. I hope that, that uh, you have, uh, you've got uh, some idea on how this works. I think if you need to learn more and get some examples on how this can be done in Azure DevOps, there are a couple of examples available here and feel free to experiment and share with us uh, your discoveries issues uh, by creating uh, yeah by creating tickets <laughs> and, and dropping me some comments uh, everywhere else you found me so that we could we could improve further uh, this this tool um so i will leave you there and uh, watch out for the next video